Hello everybody, Elias5891 here, back with another Contain Module tutorial. We are continuing our look at the Ordered Key variants. This time, we are taking a glance at... Recorded Keys. I sigh because this one is an audio-based module. I, I, I play typically muted, so modules like these force me to really... Uh, Kind of either skip them or only play them in certain situations where I can unmute. Is what it is though, and we will uh, down the music as we get through this one. Um, as far as how to tell this one from the others, uh, you can highlight half of the box up here. So this module comes in two steps: uh, the first step, and then the black and white step. Uh, the color step has two components to it. Uh, first off, we've got six keys, just like always. We're gonna read them out, just like always. But then we have another element. These keys, when they're pushed... Not sure how well you can hear that over the music, but they play notes. Let's actually uh, cut the background music for right now. Alright, so there's two things that the diffuser needs to pass out to start. They need to give all the key information as usual, and then they need to put those sounds in order and give the order of those. So let's give the keys first, then we'll play around with the pitches. Uh, we have red 6 yellow, yellow 6 blue, magenta 6 red, cyan 1 yellow, yellow 2 cyan, cyan 5 cyan. That's the easy part. Now we need to listen for these tones. This is really hard to kind of tutorial. I, you're, you're, I like to pick two notes at a time, or pick the first two, try to figure out which way sounds like it's going higher, and then add the third one, figure out where it fits, so on down the line. So it's really hard to kind of explain that, explain how a note is higher. So I'm going to assume you understand you know, what a higher pitch note is. If not, um, I'll be honest, that would be something you'd want to look up a good uh, tutorial on, a, not tutorial, but a good explanation on what a high note versus a low note sounds like. Um, so, let's listen to these for a moment. This is This is definitely the lower. Sounds like it's climbing. Well, that's really high. Yeah, that's climbing. What's next? Definitely lower than that. Ooh. I think that's my lowest one so far. Let's listen to those four. Yeah, it's like a scale climbing up. Sounds like there's like a gap between the third and the fourth one I'm pushing right now. So, do, 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 ba, big jump there. Yeah, those are definitely higher notes. Um, This is higher than this. This is higher than this. And then this is higher than this. So I think the order, if I'm listening to it right, would be... And you can kind of hear, it sounds like, you know, hitting the notes on a xylophone in order. Alright, so I'm going to then give that order, I'm just going to give the order to my diffuser, or my expert, because the diffuser, I need to get done with that quick and move on to something else. Um, the keys are in order, um, oh shoot, what was the order? Uh, 4, 2, 1, 6, 5, 3. So, they can take that, okay, so the first one 
is four, then two, then one, then six, then five, then three. All right, so that's the information we need to get started. What we're gonna do first is find value A. Value A involves looking up each key in this chart, getting a number, adding them all up. Easy peasy. Uh, you'll notice this chart's a lot more condensed than the previous ones, and it has some overlap, which is kind of nice. Uh, so the columns, the left side, is the color of the key, first piece of information, and the labeled digit, second piece of information. Uh, the top row is the color of the label, third piece of information, and then the note played when the key is pressed, and as it specifies here, uh, notes are played lowest pitch to highest pitch. So the way I numbered them there, with kind of the lowest on key four being one, pitch one, and then pitch two, three, four, five, six. Which you'll see is how I did the numbers over here. So, first two on the left, second two along the top, look up the numbers. R6, and you'll notice there's two things here, either a red six or a green three will both use this same row. And then Y3, or magenta six, uh, zero, okay? fine with me. Um, yellow 6, blue 2, that's also a 0, like in this. Uh, magenta 6, red 6, that is a 5. Cyan 1, yellow 1 is a 4. Yellow 2, cyan 5, that's a 1, and then cyan 5, cyan 4, that's a 4. We're going to sum those up. So 0 plus 0 plus 5 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4. That comes out to be 9, 10, 14. This they refer to as A. Value A is the sum of those six values. Once it's been found, we push the black button on the display. Okay, well, let's do that. Oh, goody, more keys. Yay. Uh, I got six new keys. For these, bloop, we don't need those anymore. Uh, we need the same three pieces of information, color of key, number, color of number. Uh, now we only have two choices, white or black, which makes it a little easier. Uh, this one is white five, white, white six, white, white five, white, white nine, white, black nine, black, white eight, black. Easy peasy. What do we do with that? Well... Another table! Yay! So much looking up in this set of modules. So, new information. Given by each key, is going to find us a cell in this new one, which is 1 through 6s. We're going to add each of those new values to A to get B. So we're going to find all the values here. We're going to add them all up. Add them to A. See what we get. So let's do that. Um, we have key color. Row along the bottom is key label. So we're kind of going back to the way the first one was. Um, label color and position of key. So this is actually exactly like the original table was. But it is considerably more calm because it's just got white and black instead of six colors and six numbers so much much more um uh much more tolerable much more uh much easier to get through to take in so let's total these up see what we get for our numbers Sorry, one second. All right, 
It's a minor thing that I had to take care of real quick. Uh, let's put the music back on, actually, while we're uh, doing this. That's better. I like that better. Okay. Let's look these suckers up. What do we got? Um, white 5. White 1. Gives me a 2. Okay. White 6. White 2. Gives me a 6. White 5. White 3 gives me a 4. White 9. White 4 gives me a 5. Black 9. Black 5 gives me a 6. And then white 8. Black 6 gives me a 3. We're going to total all that up. 2 and 6 is 8, 12, 17, 23, 26, 40 is what we get for our answer. When we add all of those up. 2, 8, 12, 26, yeah, 40. Did want to redo the math once. So, step 2, we find a number by adding A all these. It's peasy. It's 12 numbers we've added together. What do we go to with that 40? Well, we're going to turn it into binary, and then we're going to press the appropriate buttons with the keys to uh, denote binary, and then we're going to uh, click this button up here again. So, 40 in binary. Uh, I'm not going to go into explanation on how to convert this to binary. Uh, if you don't know, then watch the bases tutorial, or I've done others that go over how to convert to binary. It's it's not difficult, and truthfully, if you're doing this module, you probably have done other modules that require a binary conversion. Uh, so 40 is 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Notice my answer is 6 keys. Six digits for six keys. Easy enough. What we're going to do is we're going to press the sequence of keys to give us the correct binary representation. Uh, we want to do on, off, on, off, off, off. Uh, for white, it's pressed is on. For black, unpressed is on. So, considering that these keys are, and I can copy this from up here, white, 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 black, white. We want which one's pressed. We want the white ones that need to be on and the black ones that need to be off. So we're going to tell our diffuser to push buttons 1, 3, and 5 and submit. That should give us first one is pressed, third one is pressed, this one is not pressed. 1, 3, 5... Notice I can click as much as I want, or I can push as many of them down as I want, but once they're down, they will not come back up. So, 1, 3, 5 are down, we push the button, ding, guess what? We gotta do it again. So we gotta do that step again. Just the second step, we keep the 14 from the first one. So let's do it real quick. Uh, black 3 black, black 1 white, black 6 white, white 4 white, black 4 white, white 8 white. Let's get some numbers. Uh, black 3, black 1 is a 5, black 1, white 2 is a 4. Black 6, white 3 is a 3, white 4, white 4 is a 6, 
black four, white five, that's a four, and then white eight, white six gives me a four. Let's total that up. Five and four and three is twelve, twenty-two, twenty, are you kidding me? Twenty-six, forty. Uh, you don't usually get the same total twice. 12, 22, 26, and 14 makes 40. Yeah, that's that's right, it's 40. Okay, well, you know, we can handle that. We can deal with 40 again. It's weird. Ah, well. What you gotta do? Alright, so uh, 40, as stated just a moment ago, is uh, 101000. Uh, our keys this time, however, are black, 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 white, black, white. Keeping in mind, if we want a black one on, it needs to be unpressed. Scratch that. Remember, for white keys, pressed is on. For black keys, unpressed is on. So we want this to be on, so we're not going to hit it. The next key is a off for black, which means we're going to press it. Next one is a on key for black. We're not going to press it. Next one is a white key that's off. Not going to press it. A black key that's on. We're going to press it. And a white key that's not on. Not going to press it. So you press white ones and black zeros, basically. We're gonna push two, five, and hit the button. Two, five, hit the button. Hey, we're done. Yes, that was the module making that noise. I'm 90% sure. This is a long module. It's... <sighs> Doing all these back-to-back, -back, they, they, they get kind of tedious, to be honest. Um, this one is interesting by itself. I don't know why it needs to be two stages. Even worse, and I intentionally didn't do this because I would not have stood for it, is if you screw up on, say, the second black-white set, then it resets you to the very beginning of the module. So you got to do the A, and then you got to do the first black and white, and then you got to do the second black... No. No, no, no. No. That is too much progress to lose on one mistake. Other modules do it. I'm not fond with them doing it. I'm not fond with this doing it. Um... I'd give you one to do, but I'm going to be honest, I don't want to check it afterwards. So, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I will uh, pull up one more. Uh, and I will let you listen to it, and I will read off the stuff if you want to practice, and then I'm just going to tell you what the answer is. I'm not actually going to sit down and work it out. I'm just going to tell you, hey... This is what you're going to get. So, sorry if that's not quite what you're expecting, um, but, you know, I can only do some modules uh, to some degree before I kind of go crazy. This is one of many modules that I'm not going to do multiple times in its entirety. Alright, All your keys are magenta 3 green, magenta Six blue, yellow one magenta, red five cyan, magenta five yellow, blue four green. That are your, that is your keys. Now we need to actually play the notes. So I'm going to start with key note or key one. Key two. Key three, four, five, and six. 
It's actually not the hardest set to put in order, I don't think. If if my ears did not deceive me. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, to legitimately try to put those in order. So, pause. Give that a shot if you want to. And then we'll come right back. Yeah, I didn't take any notes, because like I said, I'm just going to give you the answer here in a second. Um, these keys in order, um, the first four sounded mostly reversed. Uh, there's a jump there. That's the highest one. So that's it. Yep. So it's four, three, two, five, one, six. That's the order of notes from lowest to highest. Four, three, two, five, one, six. Uh, so that gives you the rest of the information you need to fill these out. Uh, if you do so correctly, you should get these values. Like I say, not going to go over how I got those. I got them from the output log. But these are the totals you should be getting for this particular set, which gives you an A value of 15. All right. Take a glance at the first uh, black and white piano part. It is white six black, black three black, black four white, white nine black, white two white, white one white. All right. Uh, would you look those up? Pause if you want to take a quick peek. You should get these lookup values. Three, six, two, six, three, and one. If we add that to the fifteen, we get a thirty-six. Thirty-six is thirty-two, sixteen, eight, four, two, one. One zero zero one zero zero. Uh, the key order was black. Or it was white, black, black, white, white, white. Remember, we want to hit the white ones when they're on, and the black ones when they're off. So we want to push keys one, two, three, four. And then the second set, if you want to do it, we have uh, keys are black, five, black, black, eight, black, white, four, white, white, five, black, black, nine, white, white, zero, white. If you go through those, pause if you want to look them up. All right. Assuming that's enough time for you to have paused and taken care of things. If you look these up, you're going to get these values. Uh, plus 15 is going to yield you 35. So 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. That is my binary value. Uh, keys were black, black, white, white, black, white. So we want to hit black when it's off, white when it's on. So no, yes, no, 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 yes. We push keys 2 and 6 and call it day. Pomp and Circumstance, really? That's recorded keys. I apologize that the follow along example was not, um, you didn't get to fully follow along. That's a long module. And it's not one that I cherish doing multiple times. You know what else I'm not going to cherish doing? These two. But next time we will continue on with the series and hit disordered keys. Until next time, guys, this has been Elias. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.